Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Husband Pixie, for everyone that's new to my channel. My name is Monique and welcome back to my existing subscribers. In today's episode, I'll show you my Hoya collection. I can't even remember when I started collecting Hoyas. I don't think I always had them. My mom always had one and I was never allowed to touch it as a kid and I think I was, it wasn't my favorite plant. I think that's what put me off a little bit. Um, but she got, so my gran gave her a cutting when my brother was born and when I was born and yeah, she was looking after these Hoyas like a hawk and they still exist today. So I might blend in a photo, I'm not sure if I, um, I might get her to send me a photo. All right. Some of my Hoyas are, um, actually it's just one. It's um, on an embroidery hoop attached to the um, wall. It's my Hoya uh, pubic calyx. So I will blend in the name of each Hoya I talk about because I'm not quite sure if I get the pronunciation right. But yeah, I'll blend in a little picture of the um, pubic calyx. I got that one at a blind swap as a cutting. And look at it now. I think that that hit it off for me to collect Hoyas. All right, I, I don't have a huge collection, I don't think. I think I counted about 15, 16 plants. And it's funny, I actually just went around the house looking. <laughs> so whenever I do a collection and care video, after I finish the video, I walk past a shelf and I think, you didn't make it into the video. <laughs> Right, let's get started. Um, I'll show you the small ones first. So you've seen the pubicalyx. Actually, I'll show you the next one I got on this wall here, which is the Hoya Kerry. And it's just, look at that, amazing. I got this trellis and it's just fantastic. So with Hoyas, just keep in mind, if you have no leaves for quite some time, that's not a problem. It's not like um, the few philodendrons that they have leggy growth. They actually develop that first and then, it's a little bit dusty, <laughs> might give it a wipe. And then they develop the leaves a bit later. So it's got a leaf up here, just a little leaf forming there so the leaves will come eventually and the flowers oh that's that one next one oh it's in the stand that was the plant stand this is the Hoya oblata just look at it look at the um, speckles on the leaves I just love this one and if you have them on the trellis what I do see with this one here I just guide it around and I did look back on the picture when I first got this one and I was like oh wow it's growing so much yeah Let's see and yeah I might make a video about trellis See that I got this is the new growth and it's got barely any leaves on it, but they will come. So yeah, I might just wrap that around like that and secure it. I'm not quite sure. I can give you the tip to actually wrap them around when they're at this stage, like when this is a bit more flexible and bendy and has no leaves on it, makes your life a lot easier. <laughs> What's next? That is the Hoya Aldrichii. And I labeled all my Hoyas. So 
I'm not sure if they, I, I find it a bit for passionate Hoya collect. I wouldn't call myself a Hoya collector just yet because I just don't have enough. And I don't think my eye is not that trained that I see it. Oh yeah, I, I see, yep, this is a Hoya carry or this is a one of the simple ones. Oh, I know, but um, yeah, I, I got lots to learn. So this is Hoya. A dry, a dry shield. This is the new leaves. And then with your Hoyas, if you want to find out if they need water, you just see it on the leaves. They are very, um, they don't require that much water. Some, some more than others, but I find them really easy. If I forget to water them, the leaves will tell you. The leaves will look droopy and you can that doesn't need water. It's a taco test, so. Right, let's put it over here. Next up is the Hoya Courtesy I Philippines. Look how, oh, I just love. And there is another one. Um, Hoya courtesy eye, but it's the Thailand, which is this one. And you think, hmm, they look very similar, but if you see them together, they're different. See how the Thailand, I just take the labels out because. This is the Thailand, and I feel like the leaf, leaves are a bit more rounder and the Philippines, the leaves are a bit more thinner, like these guys have more of a belly. Right, I'm putting the label straight back in. I thought, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I didn't, so. That's by the recommendation. If you get a Hoya, just label it straight away. Or with any plant, really. Right, next up. Hoya Lacunosa Eskimo. I just love the little patterns on the leaf. Oh. And this guy, I just found a mealybug. Good news. Yep, inspect your Hoyas. See that? Oh, another one down there. Fly up. Right. And this guy gets his spray. But most of these, I show you, they all sit in my north facing window. They do get direct sun and that's what I love about Hoyas. They are right on the window. They do get a bit of sun through the window and they don't burn. I will have a couple right on my west facing window which gets hammered with the afternoon sun and they are fine. So it worked for me. Oh goodness, don't just put your... <clears throat> but they were young and obviously acclimatized so if your hoya is somewhere where it doesn't get the direct sunlight through the window then maybe just and you want to try it just do it an hour then a couple of hours let it get used to it all right this one i'll put under the table oh, it needs to spray another How cute are these planters? <laughs> I think they are actually um, tea light holders. I bought them when I was home in Germany. And this is the Hoya Matilda Splash. I'll definitely do um, a wait a year and then we look at them again and I give you an update how they are growing. 
So I got this recently as a cutting, what I do with the cuttings when I get them. The part where it's cut is just put it in the soil and I just water it. I just almost like miss the soil and I never pull it out. You see when the growth is continuing growing and the plant gives you signs if it's I have a lot of faith. <laughs> I've haven't I've seen someone I gave a cutting of my Hoya she put it in a Ziploc bag with a bit of perlite and it grew roots so yeah you can try that too anyway I will move a bit faster because we already I don't want this video to be too long right we got Hoya literalis I'm going to put that on the trellis, but let's just go through the different varieties I got. All right. Hoya Dacianta. I just love when they have like either veining or speckles on the leaves. It's like so many to collect. Alright. Hoya Royal Hawaiian. I'm not quite sure if that is actually uh, Royal Hawaiian. I um, know someone that collects Hoyas for a very long time and I just sent her a photo to confirm what it is and she's not quite sure. So hopefully, because it's a young plant and she thinks the leaf stripes might not be a Royal Hawaiian. But I trust the seller so it was sold to me as a Royal Hawaiian, so I go with that. Right. Let's get this big. Oh. I just pushed that plant over the edge and it's just laying here and ah no <laughs> oh my god all right it's nothing's broken everything is good all right i think it wanted to be next in the video oh my god what a mess hoya oh, i'll put that soil in later hoya verdicolata acuta Right, this one did flower. I'll blend in a little picture. Oh, yeah, ready for Lata Kota. Jumped off the table. Actually, didn't jump off the table, I pushed her over the edge. My apologies, and <laughs> my feet, my feet standing. I'm literally standing in, <laughs> in a pile of potting mix right now. Anyway, let's continue on. I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, obscura. So this side gets a bit of sun. That's when you get these markings. And it's fully green on the other side. If you're wondering what that trellis is, that is just one of those, I don't have one. They're really hard, they're not hard to find, but they're not easy to find anymore. This was a clothes hanger. So most of them are plastic these days. This is one of the bendy ones. So if you have one, you can actually use that as a parent 
I make an awesome trellis for Shiner. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and it's a cold hanger. And it just sits in the pot. Whip it. Right, let's move on. Let's move on without putting anyone else over the edge here. This is the Hoya Canosa. Oh my god. Crimson Queen. So there is Hoya Canosa Crimson Princess. The main, they're both really pretty. The main difference is the Queen has a white variegation on the outside. Whereas the princess has white in the inside and green on the outside. This is the... See that? It's always nice. Uh, walking on soil. <laughs> um, always nice to see them together. Just ignore the pure white leaves. So yeah. That's what the difference is there. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love this plant. This is actually, I had to run these parts here. They actually, um, I wrapped them around the plant shelf. But, um, yeah. Just looks so amazing. And they flower like crazy. Right. Hoya. I think it's Hoshkalingsha variegata. Again, this is just a wire, a band. It is the shape of a love heart, but you probably can't see that. And I just love these bits, how they hang in out of the pot. This is so cute. I just love this plant. And here's the Hoya Polynure. A lot of people call it fishtail Hoya. How cute is the new growth. That is the Hoya Silver Splash. What I love about this one, like it grows on one stem. I'll show you from the back here. And then it builds these clusters. See what I mean? It's like one cluster. It's on the trellis as well. Another Hoya Kerry. This is the variegated version. Hoya Fungi. And then again, I love the ones that have, not sure if you can see that, but see that veining. I just some of them aren't really looking that good on camera. See those leaves? That is the Hoya Finlaysonii. And check out the leaves. They have that amazing veining. This is going, this is going to go on the trellis, I think. Um, yeah, I kind of like it hanging too. But yeah, maybe tell me in the comments below what you think. Right. I think I missed one. So, this is the Hoya Obovata 
variegated. It's not variegated to sleeve. Yeah. That one's variegated. These are not, and then the variegation came back. So stunning. I just love, love this one. Alright guys, I hope you like my little Hoya collection. And as you could say, it's worth it inspecting your plants. This one Hoya is getting traded for that mealy bug. What I'm gonna do, I'll put a bit of neem oil detergent, dilute it in water, wipe it off and spray the entire plant. I will check surrounding plants, which a couple of them I didn't see anything yet and I'll probably give them a spray as well just as a preventative. I'd love to know about your Hoya collection. Comment which one is your favorite Hoya and why? Is it the leaves? Is it the flower? I just love collecting them because the leaf shapes are all different, the leaf patterns and the flowers is it's just a bonus. And they are pet friendly, which is another great thing. All right, guys, I see you next time. Stay plenty. Bye.